Satan, Lucifer, Beelzebub, Old Scratch, Lord of the Flies, Father of Lies. That's right, we're talking about one of the big dogs here, the devil. How strong is he? Hello. Who are you? An angel. What's your name? Satan. Before we get too crazy here, I want to point out that this video is in jest in the same way that the TF Wiki page on Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, is. If you're sensitive about religion, maybe this video isn't for you. Uh, with that disclaimer out of the way, let's begin. The key to writing a good villain is to make him the hero of his own story. So from that perspective, his villain would actually be God. But who is God? Well, according to VeggieTales, God is bigger than the Boogeyman. And according to the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, the Boogeyman is roughly 5 foot 11, so we're looking for someone at least 6 feet tall. In The Simpsons, God is portrayed as being more than 6 feet tall, but is also consistently shown with 5 fingers when everyone else has 4. You know who else has extra fingers? Stanford Pines, and he also has a main antagonist called Bill Cipher, and oh shit, Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> So the devil. Let's talk about his strengths and weaknesses. A sheep has left the fold, hoofbeats go trotting, trotting up to heaven bold. At the gates of knocking, knocking. Strengths. The devil is the father of all lies and is therefore a master at poker. In fact, he's probably good at a lot of games. Snakes and ladders? Nah, man. Don't try to play no snakes and ladders against the devil. That's stupid. Tell him about any game in the world and you go straight to some snakes and ladders. Nah, 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 nah. No. You can challenge the devil to a game if you want. But very few people have ever bested him. Raise the number two. Look what I can do. <laughs> what? What does that have to do with him? No, no. He's got a point. The devil is also the origin of eldritch magic, and any character who uses eldritch magic is doing so by drawing power directly from the devil's resources. Sort of like in Magic the Gathering, when you play mana cards and then tap them to use creatures or whatever. It's like that. Whenever a magic user uses eldritch magic, they are tapping the devil and using his resources. Weaknesses. If you ever want to have a conversation and not let the devil hear you, here's a neat trick people learned. Get yourself a hula hoop. That's it! If you stand in a circle, the devil can't hear anything you say. It's that easy. Just make sure it's filled with salt, because the devil is weak to salt. And circles, and divine forces. Those are his main weaknesses. Now you may think to yourself, Oh, is he weak to anything else? Like fire? No. His house is made out of fire. Sometimes. Hell, it's a hell of a place. Let's talk about hell. Hell is an inherently Christian concept, and it depends on the denomination of Christianity you look into for what hell would be. For Jehovah's Witnesses, for example, it's oblivion, which is just ceasing to exist. If you look into it for the Latter-day Saints, though, it's outer darkness. Spooky Mormon hell. The Catholic hell is fire and brimstone and punishment for being a bad person. And the Greeks had their own thoughts on hell. For example, Prometheus was damned to eternally having his guts pecked out by birds. Maybe the devil lives there, inside of us all, being pecked out by birds all along. What, what do you think the devil is in some sort of condo down in Florida? No. Yeah, huh? See, see, the thing about people like you is that you think that the devil lives in some sort of houseboat just drinking daiquiris and listening to Jimmy Buffett. Here's another thing. You may be familiar with that old ditty, The Devil Went Down to Flyover State, in which the devil plays a fiddle contest against a guy named Johnny and actually loses. The song is so popular that it has slipped into the public consciousness and is referenced in a lot of different media. If you'll just sign this fiddle contest waiver... Wait, what fiddle contest? And is unique in two respects. One, that it was made 40 years ago and is one of the few things in the last 50 years that everybody basically agrees on. And two, that in an interview made earlier this month, the songwriter admits to having very little inspiration for the idea. That he's not really sure how he got it. But what is a the devil anyway? Well, according to Bible, he was an angel who fell from heaven and his wings were clipped. While well, most popular media shows him as a big red guy with goat legs and horns. It seems like not everyone can agree on what the devil really looks like. But there is one thing we can all agree on, 
and that's how much money you can save by using honey. This video is not sponsored by honey. I never learned how to get sponsors and at this point I have a fright to ask. Let's talk numbers. In Digimon Season 1 Episode 28, a children's show, they explicitly show angel and devil imagery. This episode also makes explicit reference to the number of the beast, which is 666. 666. Six, six. Six seconds and six minutes past six o'clock. Sounds like triple six. 666 is referenced in almost every devil-related story with its heavy symbolic nature. The Arnold Schwarzenegger movie End of Days posits that the number of the beast 666 is a dream number, and that in dreams, numbers can appear upside down or backwards. So in this case, the number of the beast could be 999, as in 1999, as in the year that movie came out! Even when I saw this movie as a child, it pissed me off. Why would the end of days be 1999 and not 999, or for that matter, 666 AD? It's stuff like this that really just takes the cake. Here's something you might not don't maybe know. According to the Codex Ephraim Rescriptus, the true number of the beast is 616, not 666. So it's all kind of pointless to talk about anyway. Do you know what else is 616? Marvel Comics. Now is the part of the video where we talk about the character and line them up with Marvel stats and... Oh. Wait. Mephisto is already the devil in Marvel. Whoops. Well, stats are right there. Durability, 7. Energy, 7. Fighting skills, 7. Intelligence, 6. Speed, 7. Strength, 7. Okay, I really wanted to do like all these different jokes where all of his stats are six and I would like freak out like, oh no, it's the number of the beast. But then I wrote this whole script and only remember that the devil was a Marvel character after I wrote everything out. Whoopsie. Well, the video isn't entirely pointless because we established the source for all Eldritch magic. Do you think the devil could defeat KO from OKKO? I mean, probably. Do you have a character you would like to see how strong is? Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time, this has been Brunkus of the Tidepool Orchestra. Bye bye oh. Hello. Who are you? An angel. What's your name? I am Satan, Lord of Darkness.